Hi everybody, it's Amanda here, and I'm going to be showing you how to use the Coagula Check system uh, from Allure. Um, this is a, a blood test that I do pretty much every week to check the <laughs> thinness of my blood because I am on a blood thinner supplement, so I have to check to make sure that my blood levels are within the right range. So I have recently got this um, system here which allows me to check my blood at home. Um, it prevents me from having to go to the lab every week and, and be stuck by the needle. This just allows me to prick my finger. I can do it real quick at home. I phone in the results. Um, it's a lot more convenient for me um, having a family, basically not having to run to the lab every week. So we're going to get started and I'll show you how this is works. Now the first thing that you want to do before you get started is make sure to wash your hands. Um, that was a tip that was given to me by the, the nurse that came and, and trained me on this system. Um, it also helps if you wash your hands with warm water. It actually makes the prick on your finger hurt quite a, a lot less. Um, it kind of draws blood into your, into your hands if you use warmer water. Um, and then again, that prick, it doesn't really feel like much at all. So um, we're going to go start by washing our hands. All right, so we're going to start again by washing my hands. And again, we want it to be pretty warm water. Make sure that you get a good, nice lather. Ooh. That's hot. All right, and then we're going to dry our hands off, and then we will be ready to go ahead and get that sample. Okay, so this is how the system comes in a nice little package, little package here. Um, we've got the monitor in there. I've also got my test strips as well as some of the lancelets that I use to actually prick my finger. So we're going to go ahead and get started and, and see how to use this system. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is turn on the system by pressing the power button. It's going to go through <coughs> the process of just kind of logging on here. It's just kind of warming up here. What it's going to do is it's going to flash a number on the screen. Where'd go? And we want to make sure that our lot number matches. So on each of these, you'll see that there is a code, code 300, and these are on the strips that I use. Okay, I'm going to insert one of the strips, and we're going to have to verify that that number 300 code comes up on the monitor here. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do that. This is what the strip looks like. It has an arrow kind of identifying which end needs to go in. So this is face up. And we are just going to go ahead and slide this in until it can get, until it beeps. Okay. So we have the test strip in there. It's blinking 300. And you'll remember that is the correct lot number because it matches the code there on the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push M for match because that does match, match, okay, it gives me the hourglass, and then it's going to start counting down, and during that time is when I need to go ahead and start pricking my finger and get the blood ready to put on the little strip here, okay, yep, 70, 178 seconds. Okay, now you saw that I went ahead and I washed my hands already, we take the lancelet and we remove the top of it. Now this was very unnerving the first time I did it. It's just unnatural to want to to prick your own finger. So we've got the lancet, the needle is inside there. We're just going to place it on our finger and squeeze. A little pop. Okay. And then it just kind of starts rolling out. Okay. Now you want to work the blood up into a little bit of a ball so that you can roll this onto the strip. So there's a good little bit of blood there. And what you do is you just lay this right on top of this. So your blood will just kind of suck right onto the strip. See? And it will beep because now it has the sample in there. So we're going to go ahead and cover that. You'll notice it says QC check, which just basically means the sample's in there. It is reading the results. In just a moment, it's going to beep and tell me what my results actually are. So we're just waiting for that. Okay, the system beeped, and it gave me an INR of 3.4, which is actually a little bit high for me today, because I'm supposed to be between 2 and 3, so 
I feel that they may actually have to adjust my medication a little bit, but that's okay. Much easier than, than going to the lab and being pricked and given blood. Okay, so then we go ahead and we log our results in our log here. So today is, I'm sure you can read this, uh, July the 6th. And it is about 1.45 in the afternoon and my blood level is at 3.4. Now, this machine will monitor that, but it will not electronically send my results to Alir. So I do at this point have to phone in or get on the app that's on my phone um, to send them my results. And then they will contact the doctor and the doctor will call me back to let me know how I need to adjust um, the pills that I'm taking for the blood thinners. So, we went ahead and we got a Band-Aid there on our finger. It's a little poop, poop emoji. emoji. Band -Aid. And also, I don't have um, the accessibility to a sharps container, so what I use is just a water bottle. And I can put the lancelet that was used as well as the test strip, and I just put it in a water bottle and we cap it off and that keeps anybody whenever this goes in the garbage it'll keep anyone from from um, coming into contact with sharp. any sharps container yeah. anything we sharp in there or uh, any of the blood dress okay so at this point the test has been ran it's still blinking mm -hmm. um, but of course the results have been uh, taken off the screen because I removed the test strip so at this point testing is done all I need to do is just power it off by pressing that one time and it's turned off and all we need to do is to call in our results. Okay, I hope that this video was informative um, and helped you out. If this is a new system that you're using, hopefully this helped walk you through the process. Um, if it did, give me a like, uh, leave me a comment, let me know uh, what you're thinking. And I appreciate your, you watching. Have a great day.